This video walks through how to rent a VPS from the P2P VPS marketplace. The first step is to go to openbazaar.org and download their OpenBazaar client. Once you've downloaded it and installed it, uh, you need to configure the client to use Bitcoin Cash, uh, as that is the cryptocurrency uh, being used by P2P VPS. Uh, there are issues with all the other uh, offered bit, uh, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Zcash right now um, that don't lend itself well to the small transactions uh, used uh, to rent VPSs. So download the client, select Bitcoin Cash, uh, copy this URL, or it's it's actually not a URL. It's it's a uh, it's uh, for the open the OB means for the uh, Open Bazaar network. So here's what their their client looks like, and uh, this is a test buyer that I created. Click on this button here, you can see your wallet. And this is where you would fund your wallet. Uh, with with Bitcoin Cash, uh, so you could buy Bitcoin Cash, say on um, Coinbase, and then um, you need to decode this address, uh, Google that, but send your Bitcoin Cash to your wallet here in Open Bazaar. So you can see here I have a test buyer that has about five dollars in his wallet. So I'm going to paste this address here into the URL bar and go to the P2P VPS store on OpenBazaar. And then here you can browse the selection of VPS, VPSs that are on the market right now. Um, anything prefaced with RPI is running on a Raspberry Pi. Um, and then VPS uh, preference is uh, this is running a virtual machine. And if you click on them, you can get a little more details. Uh, if you scroll down, um, you can see some of the details that I've put in. So for instance, these virtual machines, they're running uh, one processor core uh, with two gigabytes of RAM and 54 gigabytes of persistent storage. Uh, so if you want to rent this one, uh, right now, because this is the alpha test, I'm running them by the hour for 30 cents an hour. So this is all really just for testing. Um, these will change once we get out of the alpha. You'll be able to rent these for a full month, and they'll go between 5 to $10 a month. So, for instance, if you click this to buy now, you can uh, send the payment. Pay from your wallet. And the reason I'm using Bitcoin Cash is because this is a 30 cent transaction. And there's no way we could do this with Bitcoin. Um, and the transaction fee is one cent. We could do this with Zcash, but Zcash is uh, a little more difficult to set up than Bitcoin Cash. So the payment's sent. You can go ahead and close this. Now it'll take a few minutes, um, should be less than five. Uh, and should normally be two minutes, uh, and then you'll see this button pop up. You'll get a notification if you're not watching your order, uh, but you'll get a notification pop up, and this black uh, ball will get fulfilled, and when that happens, you'll get the login information uh, in order to log in to the VPS uh, over SSH. There we go. We can see uh, just what I was talking about. And so if you click on that, it brings you back to this screen. Uh, and here you can leave feedback. Uh, please do. Uh, but the important information is right here. So if you open up a terminal, like Putty, which uh, you can download from the P2P VPS website, or you can just Google Putty. It's uh, pretty common. Uh, you put in this information, P2P VPS.net, and port 6143, whatever port it tells you. And 
and then accept this SSH RSA key and the login and password you need is right here. These are computer generated, uh, so they're not particularly friendly, but it's pretty easy to copy and paste. And you can change your password if you want at this point. Um, the persistent storage is in uh, media storage. Uh, so this is the 54 gigabyte uh, persistent storage. So anything you want to be saved between reboots or long term would, would go here. And uh, yeah, there you go. You got shell access. Uh, Node is installed uh, as well as NPM. And uh, right now, these VPSs do not serve up web pages. Uh, they don't have the ports open in order to do that, but they will very soon. Uh, that's the next step.